We're gonna come into a Sphinx pose. So this, this next coming sequence is great to open up the legs and the more that we open up the legs, the more freedom we can find in our back bends. So coming into our Sphinx pose, we'll place the elbows right under the armpits. Do your best to bring the forearms parallel to each other. Use the legs, the glute muscles to lengthen the tailbone towards the heels. Just take a couple moments here, pressing the forearms down, lifting the chest up, drawing the elbows in towards the hips. Just starting to notice here. A couple more rounds of breath. And we're setting up for a half frog pose. So we'll turn this left forearm so that it's parallel to the short edge of our mat. Make sure that those forearms are right under your collarbones. We'll bend the right knee. The right hand will reach for this right foot. And we're gonna use this right hand to guide the right ankle towards the outside of this right hip. Working into this right quadricep here. So if you have the foot, you'll extend the foot into the hand Hug the hand into the foot and just breathe into this right quadricep here. And do your best to keep pressing the left forearm down, turn those right side ribs forward, left side ribs back. Nice, three more rounds of breath here. And then slowly release. Coming back to center, take a breath in the middle, maybe notice the difference side to side. Maybe this right leg feels longer than the left. Maybe the right side hip is more grounded than the left. Just noticing here. And then setting up for our second side, we'll turn this right forearm so that it's parallel under the collarbones. We'll bend the left knee with the left hand. We'll reach towards this left foot. We'll lift the left elbow up and we let the hand guide the ankle towards the outside of the foot, working into this left quadricep. So keep pressing the right forearm down, keep turning those left side ribs forward, kick the left foot into the left hand and hug the hand into the foot here. And breathe into that left quad. Slowly release the left leg. Come back to center. Find your sphinx. Take a couple moments there. Notice maybe now the hips are more grounded. There's more release in the lower back. Maybe the legs feel longer. Just noticing here. One more round of breath. One more exhale. And then we'll press back to a child's pose. Knees wide, close touch, hips to heels. Just take a quick moment here, continuing to release through the quads, open up through the legs. Let the hands press forward and down, let these hips go back and down. Nice, one more deep inhale. One more exhale. Beautiful, so now we'll set up for Vajrasana 2. We'll walk back up to our hands knee. We're coming into Vajrasana 2, which is our Thunderbolt pose. In this shape, the toes are tucked under, the knees are forward, and we'll sit the hips onto the heels. So this is great to um, open up the muscles of the shins and the calves, to the quads, the hamstrings, even into the lower back. So doing your best here to be nice and tall, not letting the ribs poke out or the tailbone poke out, but doing your best to be nice and tall here. We'll be here for about another 30 seconds. Spreading the toes across the floor, getting those pinky toes to tuck under. If you have to go in there with the fingertips, go in there with the fingertips. Get them to tuck under. And just noticing breathing into the feet, into the ankles, the shins, the knees. Nice. A couple more rounds of breath here. Beautiful. 
we'll start to make our way out of this. We'll lift the hips off the heels. You'll untuck the toes, lengthen to the tops of the feet, and we'll repeat once again with the toes untucked now. So the heels come onto the hips once again. And spread the toes across the floor, spread the big toe away from the pinky toe, tops of the feet, press to the floor, front of the shins, press to the floor. There's a lift up the kneecaps, there's a lift up the quads, into the hips, the hips release to your heels while the spine lifts up towards the crown of the head here. And just take about five more rounds of breath here, so long inhales, and so long exhales. Just let the mind follow the breath, breathing back into that intention, breathing back into the spaces where the body needs it. One more deep inhale, one more exhale, and then we'll start to make our way out of this. Just taking our moment, we'll come back to hands and knees, and then we'll make our way back to stand. last little progression here to open up the legs. We're gonna take some kind of support, be it um, a towel, a pillow, some blankets, and we're setting up for some, um, some more calf openers and leg stretches here. So first things first, I'm gonna bring my toe ball mounds up the blanket. The feet will be about hips distance. I'll do my best to have my toes nice and spread. I can have a, a bend in my knees to start. I'm gonna find my blocks, find my forward fold. Then we're working to make this Uttanasana shape, this um, almost like a, a table shape. We're working to extend the spine here. So if you need to bend the knees to stretch the spine, stretch the spine. But once you have the extension in the spine, keep that extension, then maybe the legs start to straighten. We'll be here for about a minute. Just visualize these legs stretching behind you, inner thighs stretch behind you as the muscles right behind the armpits pull the chest forward. The hands pull in towards the feet and the chest extends forward here. Beautiful. Lengthening those calves into the heels, Spread the toes, raise the hamstrings, hug those quads towards each other. See if you can make the spine a little longer. Three more rounds of breath here. One more deep inhale. And then next exhale, we'll forward fold over the legs. You can release the hands to the blanket. Maybe the hands come down to the floor. Knees can be bent to release the spine but also you can extend the legs to work into those calves, work into those hamstrings. And just be with your breath. Even if those knees are bent, we're working to extend the muscles in the legs. We're lengthening the calves towards the heels, raising the hamstrings towards the hips, and we're releasing the lower back and the lower abdomen here. Five more rounds of breath wherever you are. And here's one more deep inhale. One more exhale, we'll bring hands to the hips, elbows will lift, we'll press the feet, inhale, come up. And come to stand. We can move the support off to the side. Just take a couple moments here, standing nice and tall, just Notice what the legs feel like. Notice the connection of the feet to the floor. And we're slowing it all down, coming back to that intention, back to the breath. Aligning breath to the movement. 